Right guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have a guide on how to complete the Icon Swap Squad Battles objectives very quickly. So quickly, um, obviously the Rivals and Weekend League are pretty self-explanatory and the online ones are as well. But there is ways to uh, speed up this squad battle process because I know me personally, I, I hate it and I know a lot of you guys are going to be you know, wanting to get this done quickly. So we'll run through the four there are. Win six squad battles with world class on world class with eleven Brazilians in your starting squad. Um, six squad battle wins with world class uh, eleven Argentinians. Sorry, I can't read. Um, win six squad battles world class again eleven UCL starting uh, players and then win six world class again eleven silver players in your starting squad. So they're the four. They're all win six. And if you were to win all six in a row, that'd be 24 games. But we're going to get that quicker, obviously. Uh, you know, that's why you're here. So let's get into tip number one. Right then, tip number one, pretty much, guys, is to pair the objectives. It might not seem obvious, but you can pair objectives. So you can get this done in 12 games, which is very, very nice. 12 games is the minimum if you win all 12. Um, that'll get all of them done. So you can pair two and another two. The two you want to be pairing, in any order really, um, are UCL with either Argentinian or Brazilian and Silver with either Argentinian or Brazilian, whichever one you didn't do. So, sounds obvious, but it is a very, very good tip. So to help you guys understand, what I've done is I've built a Silver Argentinian team, even the likes of this Romero objective card can be used to help you out, a good centre-back Silver. And also, um, I'm not too sure, unfortunately I can't find the answer to this, but maybe you guys can test out if Sudamericana cards count. Anywhere from, I think it's 60, yeah, 64 to 74 is a silver card rating. So these guys here, for example, I've just chose two in my club, will uh, are technically silver ratings. So hopefully they work and they'll help you out. And um, yeah, that'll, that'll get that done. So something like this will get the silver and Argentinian obviously guys you can do silver and bronze uh, silver and Brazilian not bronze and then for the other two objectives something like this a Brazilian UCL team obviously I've got an untradeable Neymar he's just in there and then this Anderson was in my club any Brazilian UCL players doesn't even have to have chemistry as long as you can win the games uh, are, are useful and yeah hopefully that helps for um, tip number one tip number two is kind of it might be a hidden one um, because a lot of people don't realize you can have uh, subs you can literally sub on anyone so this Messi if you want if you're struggling um, I've got a seven game loan sub him on get him in Kimmich would be probably one of mine obviously you can make three subs in a game so Kimmich would be one Rooney could be one if you want and Mbappe is brutal in squad battles he literally finishes everything so he'd be one and then I don't know Martinez so you can literally guys don't forget to sub your players on it's going to be tough with the likes of Rafinha 69 pace and I don't know, this right back has only got 67 physical, so just sub on your players where you like to. Like I could literally sub on Mbappe and Martinez and have a front front three of Neymar, Mbappe, Martinez and a, and a midfield of Kimmich in my, uh, in my squad battle games. And that helps out more than you could flip and imagine. It really, really does because they, they are just a level ahead of anyone you're going to be using in your UCL teams really. So yeah, don't forget to sub on players. You can do it. It is uh, definitely, you know viable option right guys for tip number three i'm just going to use my main team as an, uh, an example obviously you can't use this in the in the icon swaps but i need to use custom tactics and the, the other ones of concept squads you can't do it anyway enough waffling pretty much guys this tip might be one where you uh you decide to not take on board or take on board but what i have found from playing all the icon swaps there are they've ever released and you know last year playing it and squad battles in general i do think playing a it doesn't matter defensive or what um which one you choose, it doesn't matter how you start in game. Playing a um, balance, balance, uh, 4 1 2 and 2 narrow, this formation here, so 4 1 2 and 2 bracket 2 is very, very good in squad battles. Something literally, uh, 5 depth, 5 width, something like that. Um, players in the box doesn't really matter, but it, as long as you have it balance, balance, set your players up however. Uh, however you want to it doesn't matter for this but you have to have stay back while attacking on your wing backs and then i like to put stay forward and get into the box for cross for your cam and then you can if you 
if you uh, like doing it I do stay back while attacking cover center so this tip is kind of just one which I found is very very OP I've tried other formations you can go for wide formations if you like but um, definitely if you're struggling guys do try out the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow in squad battles especially world class is, is you know a high opponent uh, AI and you know you want to get your best chance and I do think 4-1-2-1-2 narrow is probably one of your best chance at getting um, these icon swaps done quickly because it works so well the tiki taka football is very very good against the ai and you can score a lot of goals right then tip number four uh, of five there's gonna be one more after this is be smart with your squad battle games because you do not have to play the hardest teams if we look here this this um squad here is a pretty decent team this is the first time me seeing it it's got kante varan icons in there ronaldo um, Tonali, it's a good team. You realistically don't want to play against that with your silver team in world class. Um, so what you want to do is play the lower teams here. It might seem obvious, but you can literally play the first two. So there's that squad there, and then this squad, 59 rating, 17 chemistry, guys. You could literally play against this uh, in your games. This one, it's I can see their top players, Nedved, Sanchez, Griezmann. You don't want to play against that. Play the first two, then click X on Xbox. It'll be square. If I'm right, I could be wrong. Sorry. Um, on PlayStation, it'll say in the bottom, update opponents, and literally confirm. You have nine of them, so you can play um, play your two worst teams, which are usually the top two, have a look, obviously, and then refresh the opponents and get into the next two uh, awful teams. It really does help out massively. There's a big difference between, between playing this 59-rated team and an 85-rated uh, meta team, meta gold team. So definitely, guys, um, don't, don't stress playing all four of the opponents that it says. Play the first two and refresh from there. And then finally, guys, tip number five, which um, maybe is the most, like, um, I don't know, temperamental one, um, is look out for um, glitches on squad battles. There are many squad battle glitches that come out on FIFA because people find them. All you got to do is, if you have Twitter, that's a good place to find them. Or even YouTube. YouTube's e e even as easier. Um, just search on YouTube, squad battle glitch. Look for the date it's been uploaded so you can see it's relevant. And they change all the time. Some are easier than others, but pretty much if you're winning a game and you, you can't be bothered playing, a lot of the time um, you could be like 3 0 up or something and you don't want to play. You can put the controller down, go do something else while the game plays out. So, unfortunately, I can't uh, show you a glitch right now. I don't have one. I'd have to find out myself if there's one working. But what I'm saying is always keep checking. So, if you come to do icon swaps in, I don't know, um, two weeks time there might be a glitch out there might be one out right now i haven't got around to looking and um yeah i leave that one up to you guys because it's more time relevant so where it, it does relate to the time you're doing the squad battles because they try ea patch the glitches and then they uh, uh people find a new one so the fifth tip and final tip is to look out for squad battle glitches they're all over youtube and yeah they'll be very easy to do once you uh, know how and hopefully there's one out soon if there's not one already Right guys, I hope that video helped. If it did, please do smash a like. It'll help me so much. Um, and yeah, if you're new, drop a subscription and it's free obviously and turn on the notification bell. You'll never miss a video. But yeah, thanks for watching and peace.